We used to far, uh, start the, the app using the limit swap.exe. Now you don't need to touch this. You're only gonna look for the logo that says app and double click it. And you're gonna see your browser pop up. You're gonna see this pop up quickly here. And it's gonna pop up your browser automatically with your GUI. Um, I'm gonna minimize this for one moment so you guys can see this running in the background. So what that does when you click app is it starts a Flask server uh, which will be running on your device, all right? So this needs to be up all the time, and it's gonna replace the window that you used to use when you started the bot. So the bot will start running here, and I'll show you in a minute, but basically what this is doing is it's running a quick, uh, a little web server, uh, this right here, that you can view at your local host uh, 5000. So if we were to put local host in here, um, it's gonna show up as well, see? Same thing. Um, so right now we have it opening up to an IP, uh, which is the IP for local hosts. So just more techie stuff. I'm trying to get the least amount of techie for you guys as possible. Uh, so that's my goal here. Um, but um, welcome to the new UI. This is uh, this is Limit Swap uh, with the U the GUI that you guys were asking for. I know uh, it needs a lot of work, but uh, it, I, I'm really happy that it's a start starting point. Um, we've partnered with Chartex, as you can see uh, here, to get charts for all of right in the same GUI so you don't need to leave windows. Um, all you have to do is click on it and uh, or hover over the, the uh, mouse here and you can click uh, and you can just start typing and you can pull up any charts. Um, so you can see we can pull up chart X chart. Uh, you can pull up a uh, link. Uh, let's just try to pull up link. Uh, and then we'll go one more time. We'll go back to limit and there's limit token. So. I'm really excited about this. Thank you to GDub for providing this um, uh, embeddable charts for us. Uh, I know the users are gonna love it and uh, thanks for being a part of the community. Uh, so if you guys were using this prior to this release, um, you know we are working out of JSON files and doing a lot of, uh, people said it was techy or a little too complicated. That's gonna take all that away. This, this, UI, this GUI has way more room to grow and uh, you know, I'm kind of new to this. You know, to be to be frank, with the HTML side, like I have a little bit, a little bit of experience, but um, uh, I'm gonna do my best to build this out over time and get information on here in a nice way. So basically, we'll start from scratch. You can see there's some examples in here, but um, the first thing we'll show you how to do is if you're gonna remove a token because there's some base tokens in here. Um, you're just always gonna want to put the ID in. Um, and you always want your IDs to be unique um, and uh, you can remove tokens. So now you see we have no more tokens on here. Uh, we have some stops here. Um, you can clear these as well just by doing test uh, two. And then you can do test one. So if, if your bot gets stopped off, that'll fill. And then the same thing, we're gonna go like straight into, uh, into this now. Um, this is all USD, so if you want to buy a coin at, at 10, basically you're gonna go straight through this and um, put everything in here. So this uh, token address will be the address of your contract. So I'm just gonna put a random one in there. We'll, we would say that was limits. Um, your buy price is the buy price that you want. Um, like, hang on, let's refresh the chart. Um, that you want to buy the coin at. So if we look at limit and we say, all right, we want to buy at $9, uh, or we'll just say we want to buy it below $10, all right? And then we want to sell, uh, you know, we'll say $50. Uh, the, so the buy and the sell is always in USD, and if you're charting here, you're gonna see it in USD. So that, that's good news, right? Um, the buy amount and tokens, uh, what you would put here is, this is always a token amount. So we're trading limit token, so you'd be, all right, we wanna buy 50 limit token. Uh, the max tokens this level. So the bot is set up to dollar cost average on the way down and make multiple buys and sells if you want to. And using the tokens this level is how you program that. So programmatically, you could say, all right, I only wanna buy 45 tokens this level. Why 45 tokens? Um, because uh, you wanna, always want to have this a little bit lower than the buy amount on that level plus any buy amounts of the lower levels um, and I'll go into that in a second and um, but basically uh, say you 
have 50 tokens here, but it only buys 48, um, you'll still be above your max tokens and it won't buy again. Now, if you have this 20 um, and uh, max tokens 45, this will b try to buy most likely three times because the first buy is 20, the second buy is 40, and the third buy would be 60. So after three buys, then it would be over, but not before. So that's how the max tokens work. Uh, stop loss, if you have this enabled in the settings, uh, it's a percent value. So say we want to stop out at 10%. Moon bag would be, all right, if I get 10 tokens at the price I'm looking to buy it, I wanna hold them. So anything in here will stop the bot from selling that at any level. So this can be different at different levels. Um, and uh, it will always stop the bot from selling. It will, it will tell the bot to, to hold this. So the bot always tries to sell 100% of what you have minus the, the moon bag, all right? So this is like how you can adjust your order sizes on the sell. Um, and then order the order unique would, it would be uh, you want this to be unique to each uh, token you add all right so then after you're done you add it you're gonna see uh, you you added a limit buy at um, 10 and a sell at 50 and yeah now you're set up there uh, to trade limit token and that's how easy it is so that's just a one pair to do DCA would be uh, you know you'd have to use much you know a little bit more uh, theory in making your orders work, but you can do it. So that, that's basically how easy it is to add a token and remove a token. Um, as well, we went over removing a stop loss. Uh, the second thing you want to do is settings. So if you go into settings, you're going to see this, these are all necessary settings that you have to set up before starting the bot. Um, pushover key and pushover token are not. Um, they can be whatever. But basically, what you're gonna do in here, you're never, you're not gonna see, so you can copy and paste. It's gonna protect it um, from anyone seeing it if they open up your computer. Um, but you're gonna want to put, uh, you know, fill all these out. These don't change um, because that that's your base pair. I might want, I might have to, um, you know, I might just remove these from the selector because they would always be constant. Um, but uh, in the future, these might change. So, but right now, that's what this is. Use many uh, is a bot function, and uh, I plan on putting a wiki section over here that explains it from the wiki, so that will be coming soon. Uh, use stop, so basically, use many lets you trade multiple pairs. If you were to use, uh, if this was false, it would only trade the first pair that you have on your list. Use stop loss is a boolean, it can either be false or true. If you have it false, it won't use it. Um, your token symbol, uh, this looks like it's wrong because it's posted in there again so i have to fix that like i said this is the beta uh max gas would be um the maximum amount of gas you want to spend on any trade slippage is uh the maximum amount of slippage that you want to use on any trade gas boost is um a feature that allows you to boost uh the algorithm that we use in the bot so the bot's going to calculate uh, a fast trading speed automatically and then you can boost that by a percentage so 35 would boost the gas algorithm by 35 percent um like i said oh use stop losses repeated here i gotta fix the title i don't know why it's doing that and then your wallet this is supposed to be um uh gas limit uh and like i said i need to go through and fix that um which which you're not going to want to touch unless you're trading uh pairs like core or stuff that has a burn or a fee in it then you're going to want to raise this pride to like four or five hundred thousand uh your wallet address and your private key go in here and pushover key and pushover token are extra settings uh that you can use to get push alerts to your phone using the app and that's it then you just hit update settings and uh it's going to update that and um yeah that's all there is to it and then when you go over here you're going to see uh this uh kind of sitting there like that and I'll show you what happens after you hit start bot. Uh, 